Today we're going to check out the UEFI BIOS on this ASUS A416e laptop. So to get into the UEFI BIOS, hold on the escape button and press the power button. And then you should get this preset select device. You can just enter the setup from this way. So you can find out that the laptop comes with a UEFI style BIOS like on the ASUS desktop motherboards, but you won't get so many options. And so you have a BIOS version, processor, memory, uh, Iris XE graphics, serial number. And I'm not sure why you can select these, but you can. The mouse is very sensitive at this at this rate. Um, boot priority. You can then you know add in your asset tags and other properties for this laptop. You can set a password or not, primary battery status. You got your CPU temperature, CPU fan. So because it's at zero RPM, the, the temperature is actually rising as we speak. LCD starters and then uh, got, uh, USB ports. So anything with the USB ports, you can show up here. This is um, you know the easy, this is the easy mode. So you can then go F7 to not see to see something more uh, more complicated. You get your BIOS information, BIOS vendor version, GOP version, AC version, processor information, memory information, total memory installed, system information, serial numbers, system date, system type, access level. And then if you go F1, okay, you just get a general help. Um, under advanced, you got your internal porting device, enable, disable, FN lock option, enable, disable, hyper threading, enable, disable, Intel virtualization technology, enable, disable, Intel AES N1, enable, disable, VTD, enable, disable, which is a security feature for Windows 11, if not mistaken, ASUS Easy Flash 3 utility, I believe this is for upgrading the BIOS, so you can upgrade the BIOS through the BIOS. So you don't really need an operating system, which is good. Um, Intel Rapid Storage Technology, so this supports RST. So you might want to disable RST before you install Ubuntu, unless you can find drivers. Smart settings, self-test on and off. Network stack, disable and enabled. USB configuration, mass storage, driver support, enable, disable. Graphics configuration for this particular model because it only has internal graphics, so you can only select between how much memory you want to allocate. 64 meg or 20, 32 meg, if not mistaken. VMD controller enable disabled. And that's it for the advanced menu. And the boot, fast boot enable disable. Boot option, you can add a new boot option, which is good. Lenovo, looking at you, you don't have an easy way to do this. Shame on you. Um, delete boot option, don't do this unless you want to have a nightmare. Security, administrator, password on install, use password on install. IO interface security, wireless network and Bluetooth interface, unlock or lock. HD audio interface, unlock, unlock. USB interface security. All these presumably, yes, uh, unlock or lock. So card reader, CMOS camera, external ports, USB interface. And then secure boot, enable, disable. I think you need to have it enabled for Windows 11. And then the typical things I don't understand, which is regarding secure boot and the keys management. And then you can just save and exit, save changes and exit, discard changes and exit, save options, save changes, discard changes, restore, the default boot override. And launch an EFL shell from file system. So that is the UEFI BIOS on the ASUS A416E laptop.